Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to share with you how I set up my daytime space for EC practice with my newborn. We spent a lot of time in those early weeks hanging out in our living room, and I knew from practicing EC with my older children how important it was going to be to protect my furniture and flooring from any misses that would happen. With that in mind, I went to Ikea and spent five hours trying to figure out how I could waterproof a couch. By the time I got to the self-serve furniture section and sat down on this clearance futon, I felt like I had an epiphany. There, at eight months pregnant, I figured out an easy way to waterproof a couch. The futon has a separating, removable, and machine wash and dryable cover. It's quite absorbent, but it's not waterproof. So to make the cover waterproof, underneath I covered the mattress with a simple full-size sheet protector and it has worked out amazingly well at keeping the mattress in perfect condition. To protect the cover day to day where the baby and I would be sitting and laying down on the couch, I used a square yard of rubber sheeting. I had three pieces so that I could switch them out and launder them as needed. The rubber sheeting should be pulled up several inches in the back to protect the couch from any misses running down the slope of the seat. The rubber sheeting is not absorbent on its own. You'll need to use some sort of absorbent material on top of the rubber sheeting to capture any misses. Here I'm using a large flat diaper and an extra large pre-fold diaper. These diapers are 100% cotton and very soft. They're made by Green Mountain Diaper Company. The brand is Clothies. I use three dozen of each of these diapers. Underneath the couch, I have a small plastic hamper that I keep at arm's reach for tossing any wet items into. What I liked about this hamper was it was easy to slide under the couch and reposition. It also held exactly one load of diapers. Next to the couch, within arm's reach, I have a fully stocked diaper cart. Here on the bottom, I have additional extra large pre-folds so that if there is a miss, I can simply take the wet one, drop it into the hamper, which is at arm's reach as well, and then replace it with a fresh one. The rubber sheeting can get somewhat damp, so it's nice to have a couple layers of fresh cotton on top. That's why I take this multi-layered approach and replace the diapers as needed. Here I have some newbie and newborn pre-fold diapers. They are great for tucking around the baby's bottom for a little bit extra protection, and I also use them for catching leaking milk while breastfeeding. Here in the top of the cart, I keep a supply of flat diapers and a few muslin blankets, which are the same fabric, just slightly larger, I wrap these around the baby while I'm holding him skin to skin so that if there is a miss, it can absorb it. And they're also super cuddly and soft against his new baby skin. I keep the essential newborn top hat potty here in the middle section of the cart within easy reach. The top hat potty is so great for newborns. It has a nice wide rim and a soft cozy on it. And then of course, a non-slip rubber band around the container so that it doesn't slip out of your lap while you're using it. It's easy to place right here in the middle and it has its own little spot. Here I have some bird's eye wipes. These are my favorite wipes that Green Mountain Diapers makes and I just keep a supply of them so that I can wipe the baby's bum and toss it in my little hamper. Beside the wipes I have my favorite diaper cover which is a wool merino wool cover from babby greens it is a newborn size my favorite insert to use inside it are the born ready flapper wraps though sadly they're no longer in production moving up to the top of my cart i have next to my stack of flat diapers i keep of course a large jar of water i actually stash a few of these around the house while my husband does before he goes to work. If you like to use wide mouth jars, this is a great stainless steel lid that I've been using for the last year on my jars. I keep some fruit, some protein bars, and then a couple other just items that I like to have. 
I have older kids, so I like to have a couple games that I can play with them, a little book I can read to them, and then I have some of my own reading as well on the top of the cart. And you can keep lots of things in these kinds of carts, just whatever little supplies you need, a nose Frida, baby nail clippers, things like that. I like to keep comfortable pillows and a blanket on the couch, keeps me nice and cozy. Also a baby wearing device within arm's reach is always a necessity for me. This is a beautiful ring sling I picked up from Sakura Bloom. Keeping baby close and skin to skin is very important for me while practicing EC with my newborns. I like to choose a variety of baby carriers, ring slings, wraps, and have most of them machine washable. Thanks for joining me and I wish you the best with your EC journey. It really is amazing what our babies can do. Go ahead and subscribe if you want to see more tips, tricks, and techniques for practicing elimination communication with your babies and you'll be notified the next time I upload a new video.